Hi everyone, Gareth here from the education team at Clever Touch. I'm here with a video that's going to showcase for you the new features in Lynx Whiteboard that teachers and uh, lecturers returning to school and college in September 2024 can expect to find within Lynx, especially if they decide to become a Lynx Pro user. You can become a Lynx Pro user for an annual subscription fee of just £24 a year. Cheaper if you go for a site license with uh, lots of your colleagues as well. Lynx is a free app. Most of the features in Lynx are still totally free. It's only if you're interested in some of the AI features that you might want to uh, purchase the Lynx Pro subscription. But for those of you that want to just use Lynx as you know and love it, you carry on and go ahead. Anyway, let's have a look at some of the features that are new. The first one I want to show you is Video Snapshot. So with this, what I should be able to do is start to play a little video here. And as the video is playing, I can use the snapshot tool down here to capture moments of the video at certain points. And when we're done watching the video as well, just pause that link there. He wasn't very active, was he? But now we can see underneath that those moments that where I hit the caption button have been produced underneath so we can storyboard around those. So that's the first feature that I wanted to show you. Just very quickly, I just want to select all of these and we'll get rid of those nice and quickly. Second of all, something to do with drawing lines with the ruler that's very exciting is the fact that I've got the ruler on the page here. If I pick up a pen, I can now go to the ruler and I should be able to draw a line on there. If I've selected the pen, there we go, of course. And you'll see that it has drawn that line nice and smoothly across the ruler and I can move that out. So it's another nice thing that lots of people asked us for, to be able to do with the, the ruler tool. So we've added that in for you. Now, something I personally kept asking the developers to do is new pen and fill features. So I'm going to demonstrate those to you now. So um, if I go back to my pen, I'm going to start to do a little drawing. Just a nice, simple face with a body. I just want to make sure I properly join that in. And uh, let's add on some legs and uh, maybe an arm or two. This really is not my best work. <laughs> there we go. Not even anatomically correct, but it doesn't matter because it's the fill tool that we want to look at. So I've just drawn those freehand. And now if I go into the fill tool here and I can pick a color at random, so let's uh, go with green for the body and I fill in there. Instead of filling the whole space, it's now recognized the boundaries of that drawn shape and it's filled that for me. So if we grab pink there, it's filled in our face and then maybe we can go yellow on the legs and let's go with blue on our hands here. So it's a really nice addition that if you're using links to create images, you can very quickly fill in uh, the parts of the, the image that you've created. Um, now, we've also got the ability to um, have infinity pages within links. That's been there for a while. But what people are asking for is that any kind of graph paper or background that they add onto it, they wanted that to stretch into the infinity as well. So that's possible too. So to access that, we're going to go into the background. We're going to edit the background. And you can see here there's a new button where we can decide what we'd like in there. So it could be dotted paper into the infinity of the page. It could be the grid, which is customizable. It could even be this new graph paper grid that we've added in there as well. So when we exit the background, that will be there now across the whole page. Just going to uh, undo that because we don't want that getting in the way of what we're going to see next. Now we also have multiple stylus mode. This has actually been here a while, but we're making improvements to it. So now if we go back to the uh, pens here, what I can do is I can select two different pens for each type of end of my pen, my stylus here. So as I'm writing, I have black at one end and I have red at the other. So it makes it nice and easy to have two different settings, two different pen styles directly on the screen. One of those could even be your uh, math recognition or text recognition uh, pens if you're a Lynx Pro user. Finally, the Pro Image and Presentation Generators, I just want to very quickly 
uh, show you those as well. So let's just add in a new page. These are our Links Pro features. To activate those, you need a, a pro account and we just come in here and we go to the AI Assistant. So I'm going to uh, have a go at creating an image first. So let's create an image. We just type something in. So I'm going to go with a Lynx cat roaming through the jungle. And this will now use an AI generator to produce four images for me. So we'll just wait for a few seconds for those. The, or the lesson creator that I'm going to show you as well, or presentation creator, also helps get you started on a presentation that you're going to make. It's not by any means going to make a whole detailed presentation for you. It's all about crafting some prompts and, more importantly, giving you the setup on pages for certain types of um, presentation uh, sort of content that you might want, as I'll show you in a moment. So we're just waiting for the uh, AI to finish generating our four images here. Now, here we are, we've got our four images, so I can drag any of these out and we can uh, enlarge them and zoom into them. So we always get four images generated and of course you can go back to the drawing board if you don't like any of the ones that it produces first time, you know, make the prompt more detailed. Let's have a look now at uh, the presentations that we can do. So uh, for this, I'm going to set up a brand new presentation and I'm going to give it a title. So let's stick with our fee theme on Lynx Cats and the audience, we're going to make it for uh, year three and four pupils. And the prompt is going to be facts about Lynx Cats. I can be a lot more detailed as well. Now I need to choose the type of pages, so I'm going to have a title page, an outline, content page, a summary, an exercise, a quiz, a diagram, and an assignment. And then I generate the pages. This will then add in each of these pages to my document. And it's a great way, as I said, of get, getting you started with uh, any presentation that you're planning to make. I quite like it because it's using it an AI tool to search the net and come up with potential ideas. Lynx cats, furry friends of the forest. So as you can see, if I just close this down, it's telling us what we're going to learn about in this little contents page here. It's picked an image of a lynx cat and it's put in some text all about them. Worth going through and checking that you're happy with it. And even if you're not, you can edit it because these are live text boxes, of course. Um, it starts generating some bullet points or numbered points, uh, facts for the students, some activities, draw a picture of a lynx cat, write three things you've learned about lynx cats and so on. Some nice little suggestions there. Includes a quiz. Now, if you want to add an extra page with more quiz questions, you can do that as well very easily. So you can extend that. Here's our diagram page. And then finally, an, an assignment uh, suggestion. So a nice way of getting you started on a project where you might be having teacher's uh, mental block on getting you going. So those are some new features for 2024 that I hope that you'll explore and enjoy.